is there an ideal setup for creating nail content? We're gonna talk about this right now on the Biz Talk. All right, so Tracy's mic is finally working. We had problems before this, and it's all her fault. It's Just not like I state need that. a mic anyway. You do all the talking. Yes, this is correct. But I need you for like a yes and a no every once in a while just to agree with me. No, no, it's just yes. Yes, Phoebe. Hold it. Yes, I thought it was <laughs> yes and no. Yeah, that's true. It's the response I deeply hate that comes out of you every time I have a question is yes and no. It's when I like. But it's throw, always true. I want to throw things when I hear that. Um, I know. And you make a point and then I'm like, damn it, she's right. Okay. This came through ideal setup is there one for creating nail content um ideally for nail professionals um you want to have consistent posting of your work at the minimum on your instagram page at the minimum so one of the things that we hear all the time is you know i don't i don't have the time i can't like in between clients how do i shoot um and so nail setup came up, right? Is right. there, should I have some ideal nail setup? What camera should I invest in? Should I have a full studio so the client walks over, quickly takes a pic, and then goes? Um, yes and no is See? my answer to this. The best answer ever. <laughs> yeah, this, this is something that um, we actually have talked about in the past, mm -hmm. but um, it's a great topic to discuss because... I think a lot of, not just nail professionals, but just a lot of people in general in whatever business that you're in, way overthink their content strategy. Yeah. Um, and and like we think about our content strategy, but the execution is extremely fast and we don't overthink that part. So um, what do you do if you're a nail professional? What setup should they have? Um, should they invest in a camera and lighting and all that stuff? Tracy, what are your thoughts? Let's let's get your uh, take on this. What would you do if you're in the salon? Buy a whole different building. Okay, Make good. a complete studio, studio. setup. Yep. Professional. Yep. Professional. Hire a cameraman. That's awesome. Yeah. You should call it Warner Brothers. Thank you. I will. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, I mean, I think the, the best idea is, so I, I see hairdressers and they usually have one spot right? They have a ring light and they all share it. But here's the thing. Nail techs don't want to have to get up, rearrange the the ring light. Right. And, you know, you guys have a table. It's all built in. I love, I lo we have it actually for our videos. Yep. But I just like it in general. I love ring lights for lighting. Yep. And it looks cool too. I think if you walk into a salon and all the tables had these ring lights, I yeah. think that's really cool. So there's no need to move. It's just clean up, maybe throw something underneath them that you have set, that it's your set background that you use every time. Have about three poses that you like to do. Grab your iPhone, boom, 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 whatever, and out you go. And so, you're good to go. But that's what we hear a lot, right? I don't have the time. Yeah. How long did that take? Yeah. To set up uh, a little mini station should not take more than, you know, let's call it an hour at the most, right? If you if you're looking for a spot, if you don't want to do it at your station, I think at your station is perfect. Yeah, set well, a ring light. It's great for lighting anyway, and it, it will look cool at uh, all the stations. If you happen to have a spot yeah. like an empty station, yeah, set it up, and that way everybody can just walk over and use it. But I think at your table is the best. You you absolutely you know and but my my point is this: even if you didn't want to do that, right? If you're like, no, I want to have a corner. Fine, pick pick an area. Uh, set the ring light up. You can have a little bit of like blur in the background. If you have a cool little background, if you have color in the salon, you can do that. But the whole point I think Tracy's trying to make is it should not take a lot of time. And I agree with that 100%. Shooting your nail content, taking a picture should be like 15 seconds. When you're done, you either do it right there at the station, like if you have a setup like Tracy's suggesting, 
or you walk them over quickly to like what the hairdressers do. You can walk them over into your own little area. If there's a cool background that you like or a particular, let's say there's a particular section of the salon that gets nice lighting, you know, maybe you don't even need a ring light. The cool thing about the ring light is that it gives you nice, even lighting all around. So you put your hands in the middle and it just, it's going to look, it's going to be very evenly uh, lit. It's going to look good for what you need you do not need Mm -mm. professional camera setup you don't need professional lighting go on to amazon you can purchase a ring light for anywhere from like 50 bucks up to like 150 for like the larger ones so you're making a very small investment in something that's going to produce so much content that looks good yeah it looks good well and that's the thing i mean some of these pictures are so beautiful and you're like, what did you take that with? They're like, iPhone, yeah, Samsung, whatever. It's like the quality of the pics that you get nowadays from that. It's it's perfect, and yeah. it doesn't have to be high quality anyway. Like, yeah. and even if it's a little dark or whatever, save it. You don't have to post that second. That's another thing. I think everybody's like, oh, I got to post it, and I got to figure out what I have to say. No, just you have. If you have five to eight clients a day, that's five to eight posts so much that you have. Picture, 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 worry about it later. You can do a little editing, brighten it up in the background. All the cameras have that stuff. And yeah. it's super, just play with it. Super easy to do. And um, and then then post later. Don't, yeah. it's not that second. Yeah, I think the biggest problem in creating any type of content is like the person that's doing it is analyzing every little speck, you know, on the image and zooming into things that clients will never see and like, oh my God, there's just a little thing that I don't like and then you just don't post it. Even if you had the best setup, even if you had the most professional setup, you probably still wouldn't post because you have to get over that thing. I remember we went to the Netherlands um, and this was in September 2019. We went to the Netherlands. There was an educator there and um, she did stop posting. Um, she showed me, she was like, I want to show you some of the images that I have. And she's showing me her nails. And I was like, those are, they're beautiful. You should post them. And I'm like, how many images do you have? She was like 500 and something. I'm like, oh my God. And you haven't posted one. And she said, no, because she's like, look. And she started zooming in. Oh, like, let's get really close. Yeah, no, no. She got really close and she zoomed way in. And she's like, you see that one part? And I just looked at her. I'm like, nobody is ever going to see that except for you yeah like you have to get over that you got to put your content out there for your business all you need is a very basic simple setup to get decent lighting some of the the images um that we use for example we post one of our mentors or educators in england her name is dawn arno she takes these they're like beautiful pictures of her nails and it's she's got one pose if you look if you can see she's tagged we call it the claw yeah the claw she it's like this and we went out we went out to the uk um we had asked her hey how do you take pictures and she was like let me show you takes she takes a ring light she just angles it like kind of down and then she just has the customer do this pose into the ring light she had a samsung phone and she just just gets in takes the picture post That is literally all she does. It is at most 150 bucks and it takes her zero time to do it. Like it takes her no time and then she posts it or she saves and maybe posts them later. I don't know what exactly what she does, but she, she posts her work. I think on the daily, Yeah, we post her work all all the time. time. As much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. It's her color combos, everything like the, the pose, everything's great, but. I kind of have a part B to this and I haven't even told you about this. The person that DM'd me the other day. Okay. She said, I took Habib's advice. Okay. About just posting. Okay. I'm just, I've just started out and I just, I started posting. My husband told me not to until I get my own style and my own rhythm and get it figured out. And now I feel like I shouldn't have done it. Mm. And I looked and I think it's the pictures because her nails are nice, but And I told her, they're both right. Yeah. Honestly, 
I said, Habib's right. You need to be posting. Yeah. I looked at your nails. They're very nice. Your husband's right about getting your own style, your own rhythm, and not judging yourself. That was the other part. Judging yourself off the other people. Um, find what you nails you like and the style of pick you like. And you, as you post, yeah. you will figure it out. Yeah. Let, let me just, your, hus- your husband is half right, which is find your own style. The other half of like, don't post until it is completely, tell him. I said this. He's completely <laughs> wrong. Okay. Part of how you discover is by putting it out there. This is how you learn. This is how you you get over a lot of like it, it's it's how you learn how to deal with um sort of like your inner fears, like, oh, I'm scared of posting, I'm scared of what people are gonna think. You start to not give a shit, is what happens. You just start putting your work out there. As you're putting your work out there. You start to look at it, and then you can make improvements, okay? But there's no way that you can do that without putting your work out there. You put it out there, and you go, you know what? I'm not totally happy with that. I'm going to tweak this and tweak that, and then you keep posting. And then eventually, all that content will move down, down, down. And then in like three years, you can scroll all the way back. I just actually recently did this on my own Instagram. I was like, oh my God, I want to go back and see my old stuff. And I was looking at it with my kids, and we were dying laughing. Like it's... (laughs) It's just, it's fun to have a history and you can see how you've improved. It's like you're kind of documenting the whole process. Same thing with our videos. If you go back and look at our videos, they have changed so much over the years, you know, and some of them I go back and I'm just like, oh my God, what were we thinking? What was I thinking? You know, like, but that's part of the discovery process. You've got to put content out. Okay. I'm telling you. You've got to put content out for your business. You can find your style while you're putting content out. But through experience and through actually doing it every single day, you know, uh, in the beginning all the way through now, our company doing this, we've discovered and we've learned like our own style and our own vibe. And part of our own, our style is lots, fast, Mistakes. Learn, yeah, make mistakes, <laughs> learn, tweak, and then repeat, you yeah. know? But we put content out all the time that doesn't work, quote unquote, doesn't work according to like certain statistics, you know, likes and views and all that other stuff, which I personally think is a bunch of BS. I don't think it's about that. I think it's about putting out content where people are going to get some kind of value. I always talk about that. They're going to get something on the other side. And if you're putting your work out there, somebody's, they're get, they need to see your work. You know, they're not going to like, oh, the picture is, you know, a little off. Fine. Maybe your picture is not so great. So then learn. Go onto YouTube. There's a gazillion videos on how to take good photos. You can do that. Get a ring light. Start playing with it. Experiment. Experiment. Well, to me, it's like saying I'm not going to do any nails until I have perfected it and exactly. come up with my own style. Exactly. I'm not going to do any clients. No, it's mistake after mistake after That's mistake. It. And as time goes, it gets better and better. Yeah. And you get numb and you learn how to deal. Mm-hmm. And it's like when you do make a mistake, you're not like, oh my gosh. If you're so, if you don't put out content or you don't do nails because of the fear of like, you got to find your style first, dude. The first time you make a mistake, if you're holding back all this time and then you finally start posting and then you, whatever, quote unquote, make a mistake, whatever that means, you're going to freak out and then you're never going to post again. Like you got to get used to doing it. So if you started on that journey, please don't stop. Yeah. And I would say that maybe, I didn't ask her, but I think she might have been judging it off of her followers too, that she only had 98 followers. I'm sorry, that's 98 potential customers. (laughs) Yes. If you have 98 customers. You're killing it yeah it, it's it's not uh, instagram's changed a little bit it's yeah. not like you you create an instagram you start posting daily and you end up with ten thousand followers in a no, month no no it doesn't happen like that no. anymore but even if it's 50 people following you that's 50 potential customers right that's really right. good that's exactly right that is correct and even if they're friends and family and you're posting your work and you keep doing it they might share your work and the word can spread but don't worry about that right now. Just, just you, you got to post it, do it consistently. Get it, get a just a very basic setup. You don't need anything crazy. Everybody's got a phone with a great camera. Use that. Play with it. Start learning. But the the way that you learn fast is by the doing. So do a lot. Get your setup. Take a lot of pics. Learn. Tweak. 
um, just as needed. And over time, it's only going to get better. So let us know what you think about this topic. I'm super curious. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. For joining us. And thank you guys also for joining us. And we'll see you next time on The Biz Talk. Bye.